These lobster traps are thousands of miles away from the lush greenery of Napa Valley, and more than an ocean separates this rocky coastline from the terracotta roofs of Tuscany. But Owl's Head, Maine does have something in common with both California and Italy. The latitude for this area is similar to premier wine growing regions in the world. We plant a thousand vines per acre. Jean Johnson and her husband own and operate Breakwater Vineyards. We call this our midlife adventure. Not a crisis, just an adventure. The Johnsons bought this old family farm in 2007 and got to work. I like to garden and this is not gardening, it's farming. And Visitors to this tasting room in coastal Knox County frequently wonder the same thing. People always think it's, you know, how could you grow grapes in Maine because of the cold temperatures? And it's not necessarily that, it's the shortness of the growing season. Right around the 4th of July is immediate post bloom, so that's when... Jake Oliver helps tend to the approximately 2,500 vines on the property. He says the vineyard's unique location creates both advantages and challenges. So we're kind of in a little bit of a microclimate because we have water here in Owl's Head almost on three sides of us, which really helps with temperatures. But the challenge can be first thing in the morning, sometimes until 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, there's still a heavy fog here, which takes a little while to burn off. And vines like dry conditions. The daily weather and the characteristics of the season factor into the quality of what gets bottled in the fall. Maybe wine isn't your thing. Maybe you're a beer person. Well, you don't have to go far from Portland to find some main grown hops. It's a, uh, it's a really interesting industry right now, just with the growth of what's going on in craft beer. So. Being a part of that and getting to experience it all has been really nice. These are good. At this point, they're all in the string. Ryan Houghton is part of the group that owns the hop yard in Gorham. It's an endeavor that bubbled up from experiments with home brewing. Dumb idea over a beer one day that turned out not to be so dumb, I guess. There are about 18,000 hops plants growing here, each one trained up an 18-foot stretch of yarn. Once that plant can't really climb vertically anymore, that's going to force its energy to then grow outward. After the fall harvest, most of what grows here will be processed, dried, cured, compacted, frozen, and sold as pellets to local breweries. Ryan says Maine's climate has been a friendly one to hop growing for centuries, and the craft brewing industry is one that the hop yard has only just tapped. What we make out of the total percent that Maine is using in hops is still not a very big number, number at all, so we think there's a lot of opportunities still to produce a lot more local hops. Cheers! I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.